Hi, thanks for being here. Still the same necklace because it's a continuation of last week. So we're in the middle of Sphera. And in history also, we're in the middle of Sphera. We're someplace between the year 2448 and the year 2488. And I'd like to speak about Golos and Gula. So Gela is spelled, as I said last week, Gimel Vav Lamede. Gula is spelled Gimel Aleph Vav Lamede. And the difference is the big Aleph, which is Hashem. The next one is, are you ready? You have to be ready. Ani. Sometimes I'm the one that stops myself from getting out of my gullus. I'm a life coach. I don't do much of it anymore, but I'm a life coach. And people come and they spend a lot of money by psychologists or life coaches. Psychiatry is something else that has to do with medicine. But psychologists and life coaches, and but then they don't do it. They don't listen. They don't implement the ATSIS that they came to. Sometimes you're the one that stops yourself. Listen carefully. No one can do it for you. The only one that can do it for you is you. I remember a student that I was working with said to me, you know, when I get married, I'll be happier because he'll make me happy. Are you kidding? Nobody's going to make you happy. He doesn't make you happy. You have to make you happy. Ani, you are the key from Gela to Geula. No one else. You are the key from Gela. You want something done? Do it. Vaiso. Do it. Whatever it is that you have to do, you're the one that can do it. I don't care if you're spending $300 an hour by some uh, uh, life coach. I charge less. It doesn't matter. It, it's not going to get done if you don't do it. So on knee is a big deal. The next one is Emuna. And I'm going to tell you something silly. Everything is up to Kaddish Baruch You have to have a Muna that everything is up to Kaddish Baruch If you send your husband to the fruit store, which is a mistake in the first place, but that's your business. If you send him to the fruit store, and that night you were going to have asparagus amandine, and he brings home avocado. Why? He knows it's a vegetable. See, he never wrote it down, so he doesn't remember. He knows it's a vegetable and it's green. So it must be avocado. That also comes from, now figure out instead of asparagus that you're gonna have avocado salad and you're gonna squish it up with lemon and some tomato or anything. And the way you behave is a very big deal. To get angry about asparagus? Really now? It's worth it? That's also up to you. The next Aleph is Emes. I used to go, I should go back <laughs> to OA, Overeaters Anonymous. Somebody once thought I said Overreaders. No, no, not read, eat, eat. Overeaters Anonymous. And when you get up at Overeaters Anonymous, or any of the AA groups, alcoholic, uh, eating, gambling, the first thing you have to say is, my name is Miriam. You don't have to say my name is Miriam, I do. And I'm a compulsive overreader. You have to tell the truth to yourself, to your mashpia. You don't have to scream this on the street. But you have to admit that you have the problem. You're not going from Gela to Gula if you're lying to yourself. So, finished. End of concept. You are not going from Gela to Gula if you're dishonest. If you want to get out of your Gela, you have to be a mystic. You would have to admit that you have the problem, whatever the problem is. When I was discussing this with Rachel Bolton, 
who's my friend who developed most of this concept. She said that uh, she once asked a woman something, uh, and the woman said, Mat uh, what's, uh, what's my weakness? What's my MS? She says, the fact that you don't say the MS. And the lady said, you mean you know that I don't say the MS? She said, yeah, of course. Start admitting the truth. The third Aleph is omits. Omits is courage. You need courage to get from Gela to Geula. You need courage. You need courage to admit. You need courage to fix. You need courage to change. You need courage. But you can do it one silly step at a time. Uh, Achrayas. That's my favorite. Take responsibility. Take Achrayas. Take responsibility. Um, I forgot to say something before, so I'll just say it now. A friend of mine has a daughter-in-law who is a shloch, and the house is always And for a long time, she walked around, the friend walked around saying, Lama zekacha, lama zekacha, lama zekacha. Why is it like that? And then she took responsibility, and she told the daughter-in-law, I'll get you a nozeret, I'll get you someone to help twice a week. And she did, and the house was still a mess because a house is only, an ozeret is only as good as the balabosta. But instead of saying, why? Do something. Take a chrayas and do something. Stop asking why, why, why. I remember in one of the yeshivas where we have grandchildren, my daughter complained about the lunch. I said, stop complaining about the lunch. Do something. Take a chrayas. It takes omits to take a chrayas. But whatever your goal is, is take achrayas and get out. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is achdus. That gets us out. To be nice to each other. To have achdus with each other. And together, this is the time of Sfira. Omar Rabbi Akiva v'ahavta l'reyacho komecho. That we have to have achdus and we have to be together and we have to forget our differences. There's so much more that unites us than divides us. Vivirchas, Moshiach, immediately now. Thank you for being here.